Don't drill into your finger. So nice and tight. File and sand the edges back. Now we're ready to put our hinge pin in. And I'm going to take a setting burr, which is just angled on the end, and I'm going to run it into the hole just a little so that we can countersink the rivet. Like that. Now we need a piece of one millimeter wire. File a small taper on the end just to make sure that we get rid of the uh, oval shape from when we cut it with side cutters. Squeeze this together. Push this through so that it's like this. So now we're going to saw this so that it's just slightly more than half a millimeter. So the amount of rivet sticking out each side is half the diameter of the wire. Uh, we can cut it with side cutters, uh, which is okay, but we need to file this back flat after we cut it. So once again, you're flat number two cut hand file. So if you push this on the side, you'd have a total of one millimeter sticking up. Yeah? So once you get your rivet like this, so that you have about half a mil sticking out either side, we go on a steel block and use our little riveting hammer and I'm working around this way a little bit on that side flip it over you're just working back and forth to make sure that you have the same amount of rivet on either side And because of the way we countersunk our hole, our rivet is basically going to be flush with the ring on both sides, but it will be expanded inside the hole so it won't come out. So once you get it so that it looks like this, stop. Once your rivet is set, what we're going to do is mark the other side of the ring and saw through. Now you can just do this by eye if you want because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but close. Then take your tri-square, hold the ring on, mark with a scribe so that you get a nice sharp mark that's nice and square and we're going to saw following that line and we'll saw at a 45 degree angle Just perfectly follow the line, keeping the blade as straight as possible. So take your time, follow the line as best you can. And then we'll have our ring 
that opens up on the hinge. And we'll put two pieces of chenier on this side so that it, it will look like that. Yeah. And this is just a simple little hairpin clip to hold the two together. Easy. So we need two pieces of chenier, 5.7 wide, so that they'll come just past the edge, then we can file them back so they're a perfect fit. I think I'll just set this at 6 mil. Just under 6. And same old story. Cut through. Tip the chenier out on the bench before you take your saw out. And that way it doesn't escape. Two of those. Now I'm going to hold each of these pieces in my parallel jaw pliers so that they're slightly proud so that I can file a small flat. I'm just going to brace it against my peg. And it, it doesn't need to be big. Be sure you keep your file flat, and that's basically what I want as soon as it comes into focus, so that it's nice and flat, so that it'll sit against the ring and we get a good solder join. So I'm just going to do these one at a time. And I've got it set up so that it's resting on the third hand again. And the solder is about the same size as the chenier, about the same length as the chenier. Because it's, it's a fair amount of area that needs to be filled. So just like that, just make sure the chenier is slightly proud on both sides of the ring. That way we can file it back. So I'm just heating the side of the ring that has the chenier on it. I'm just circling the chenier and the ring. And the flux will go clear and then the solder should flow. Perfect. Now we'll quench it, set it up, and do the other side. So now I've got the other side set up. We've got a piece of steel wire holding the two in place. And I have my solder tucked between the chenier and the ring. So when that comes up to temperature, it should just drop down. I'm just circling the chenier and the ring.
Mm. Lovely. I'm going to quench it and have a look. So we're out of the pickle. All of our solder joins look lovely. So now we'll just file these back even with the edge. Once again with our number two cut flat hand file. If you tip your file slightly away, you won't damage the edge of the ring. You can see it'll just get slightly shiny when you're at the correct level. So now <clears throat> we'll just make a little hairpin to hold these two together. So when this is correct, it'll just slide in with a little bit of friction and polish it, and we're done. So tidy up your solder, and the way this one was soldered, there is no, there's nothing to tidy up on the inside, it's all on the outside. 400 grade paper on your sanding stick. Don't thin out your tubing. So be careful when you're sanding next to the tubing. You just want to take the smallest amount off as possible. Then once you get that tidied up, it's just polishing on Tripoli and then Rouge.